Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here, please subscribe, followed by the bell. So Samsung is really intent on making foldables mainstream, and rumor has it that it is allocating quite a big portion of its 2022 production to these devices. While it probably really wants the Galaxy Z Fold line to be the leader in that niche market, it is the clamshell Galaxy Z Fold and Galaxy Z Flip that's getting the lion's share. That's partly because of the price and partly because of a more familiar design, while the Galaxy Z Flip 3 sold quite well, there is definitely still a lot of improvement, there will always be some hardware upgrade every generation, so this is pretty much a given. Then again, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 did prove that Samsung could sometimes take a step back, depending on how the market winds blow. So while we're expecting a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and maybe even 16GB of RAM for the Galaxy Z Fold 4, there is one particular hardware upgrade we're definitely dying for. We're hoping that the Galaxy Z Fold 4 will finally have better cameras Samsung had been using the same pair of 12MP sensors since the first Galaxy Z Flip early last year, and it's getting pretty dated in its capabilities. Granted, that will require carving out more space for the sensors, but sensors have also shrunk in size over the past years, Samsung is definitely one of the leading manufacturers of such camera sensors, so it's rather disappointing that it couldn't do better for its foldables. Taking pictures has become a major use case for smartphones, and the Galaxy Z Flip design makes it almost fun to use the main cameras for selfies hopefully, we'll be seeing at least a 50MP main camera without taking too much away from the small foldable. One upgrade we would be fine without is Samsung's under-panel sensor, what it calls its implementation of the under-display camera, although it has been rumored to have been working on the technology for years, this UPS first debuted on the Galaxy Z Fold 3 suffice it to say, most were unhappy with it. Just like with its cameras, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 has been using the same 4400 mAh battery pack inside. On the one hand, that's not surprising when you consider that the phone needs to have two bigger batteries, so the capacity just isn't cutting it in today's day and age, even for average smartphone use. A bigger battery would naturally require more space and perhaps a bigger phone, but some users might be okay with a slightly larger Galaxy Z Fold 4, if that increase in size also means better cameras and a better cover display, then the sacrifice will be even more worth it. As magical or insane as foldables might seem, the mechanism that enables this kind of device incurs some rather high costs beyond the more fragile foldable screen. The hinge introduces more moving parts that could break, as well as an entry point for dust and water to damage the phone inside. That's why it's not surprising that the first generation of foldable devices wasn't rated for such environments, though the first Galaxy Fold did fail more spectacularly than its contemporaries, so we expected a better upgrade in the upcoming foldable phone. Well that is it guys, let me know your thought in the comment below, and if you are new here please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video, one peace out.